Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Sarah, and we are excited to bring you this how-to video sponsored by Lowe's Home Improvement. Now, we've had a space that we desperately needed to paint mm -hmm. for our future Airbnb, and we wanted to try our hand at a paint sprayer rather than standard rollers and brushes for the trim, mostly just to save time and also to get a uniform finish on the walls and the ceiling. Now, we used the paint sprayer in the past mm -hmm. on smaller projects, front doors, some furniture stuff, but never in a large-scale project like this where the time savings is really going to be apparent. Or at least we hope that's, that's the goal, to see if we do save time, if we do save on materials, and if the finish really is as perfect as it is when we use it on smaller pieces of furniture. <laughs> we knew we wanted to try the Home Right Finish Max Super Sprayer because it's a high-volume, low-pressure sprayer, and we wanted to see what that was all about. So we had that down. We needed to prep the space because the walls were disgusting. They were questionable stains. Yeah. Baseboards. We did the baseboards. We took them completely off, took the doors off, sanded them down, replaced the outlets, new face plates, and the lighting fixture. So once the walls were prepped, we know what paint sprayer we wanted to use. We started a list of everything we would need to finish the project from A to Z. So then we went shopping at Lowe's and we had a terrible time. Terrible time. pretty sure you can never go overboard with safety. Whenever you're painting, make sure you're protecting your eyes, nose, and mouth. And think about your hair and hands too if you plan on blending in with society after your project. Okay, so first things first, we gotta get these windows covered just in case there's any overspray from the spray gun. We love the 3M Safe Release because it's great for delicate surfaces. Once we paint the ceiling, we'll have to then also protect the ceiling from getting overspray when we paint the walls. We're gonna go ahead and use this tape to also put plastic around our windows. Bless you. Did you see that on your hand? No, that's true. Even though we've got RAM board on the floor, we want to make sure that we cover all the wood surfaces with plastic just to keep safe from splatters and all that kind of good stuff. Don't forget to protect your outlets, baseboards, door casings, or anything else that you don't want to get overspray on. In our case, we're protecting the door jams. Now that the room is completely ready for paint, we are going to follow the instructions on the HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams ceiling paint. Nick's just going to remove the lid, put it to the side, and then we picked up a paint can lid made by Sherline, also located at Lowe's, because it makes for pouring the paint into the Home Right Finish Max Super Sprayer super easy and clean. Depending on which paint sprayer you pick up from Lowe's, you're gonna wanna follow those manufacturer instructions. But for the Home Right Finish Max Super Sprayer, we just needed to determine the size of the tip and needle that we'll need for our particular project. We're painting the ceiling and walls, so we chose the right needle and the right size tip so we have a nice wide spray. Then Nick is just going to make sure that the pickup tube is facing the right direction. We want to have it facing back because we'll be spraying an upward motion when we spray the ceiling. Now we're ready to attach the container to the sprayer. Before you begin your project, you're going to want to adjust the spray pattern to horizontal, vertical, or cone. Next up, all we have to do is plug it in. So on the Home Right Finish Max Super Sprayer, they have an adjustment that you can either turn counterclockwise for less flow and finer spray pattern, or you can turn clockwise for more flow and a larger spray pattern. This way you can adjust the spray pattern as you're working on your job. If this is your first time with your spray gun, we recommend doing a practice run on some cardboard. We just taped up some rim board to the wall so Nick can get the feel for the gun. So we knocked out that ceiling so 
fast, you guys. It was like 20 minutes or less. And the dry time on the HETV Home ceiling paint says two to four hours. We touched it 30 minutes after and it seemed pretty dry to us, to us. but we definitely made sure it was super dry. And now we're gonna head up these walls. We chose Agreeable Gray by HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams. Nick's mixing it up right now and we're going to reload our Home Right Finish Max Super Sprayer and knock out this room, hopefully almost as fast as we knocked out that ceiling. So we don't need to thin out the material because this paint is brand new. And this stuff by Sherwin-Williams HGTV Home is the Infinity line and it's one coat perfection. So we're really hoping that we're gonna save tons of time by only having to do one coat. So Nick is going to put the lid back on the paint can and he's going to remove the container from the sprayer Fill it with the paint. We've already got the right size tip and needle that we need to paint walls and ceilings. And then the tube we're going to position in the front position because we'll be spraying pretty much straight onto the walls. And here is where we're gonna really talk about technique. That took us a couple times to perfect, but just like we showed you, if you are not sure about your technique, I would just put some cardboard on the wall and practice spraying. You wanna be 10 to 12 inches from the wall you wanna make sure that you are doing an overspray of about one third from your stroke. You wanna try and keep a stiff wrist while you're spraying. So keep the gun at a 90 degree angle towards the wall. This was a little tricky and definitely had a little bit of a learning curve. So keep practicing until you get it right. It's really important that the path of the sprayer passes beyond the area being sprayed and that you're turning the switch off and on as you're going through the area being sprayed. So you kind of want to have this like gradual paint starting through the area that you're working on and then a gradual turning off before you go to the next area. Now that we have technique down and our ceiling is painted, we just have to protect our newly painted ceiling from overspray with a little plastic and 3M delicate surfaces tape. Now we're ready to rock and roll and paint these walls. When you're finished using your paint sprayer, always make sure you thoroughly clean it. Anything that dries within your paint sprayer is gonna act like glue and gonna ruin any moving parts within your sprayer. So each time, follow the manufacturer's instructions that came with your paint sprayer and make sure you clean your unit thoroughly. I mean, I'm sure you have tons of DIY projects that you're gonna wanna hit up and you're gonna wanna make sure that your paint sprayer is ready for all of them. Okay, once more with feeling, let's show you pictures of the bedroom before. And now, the bedroom after. Ah! So I will say that the dramatic before and after isn't necessarily the color change. Before it was a contractor beige, contractor yellow. And now it's a beautiful shade of gray. It's called a Grateful Gray by Sharon Williams. It's going from a light color to a light color. What is dramatic is the time we saved, how much material we saved, and it is a really beautiful finish. I'm looking at the walls right now. It looks gorgeous. And, and despite the, the prep time and the cleaning up, we still saved lots and lots of time. Honestly. The, the actually paint process itself was a breeze. Yeah. So we think this is two thumbs up in our book. We're going to finish painting the rest of this Airbnb with the um, paint sprayer, no doubt, hands down. We want to thank Lowe's again for sponsoring this video and for other great Lowe's home improvement videos, you can click the link in the corner here. Also, if you need any links to the products that we used in this video, you can see that below. So our YouTube channel is also chock full of DIY and how-to videos. And then for daily home improvement antics by yours truly, go on and follow us over at Instagram. We're on there daily having a lot of fun. 